I'm not that person y'all trying to make me out to be. I'm not that person. I'm not this whole gorilla glue girl. My name is Tessica Brown. Call me. I'll talk to y'all. Let you know exactly who I am. Tessica, I mean, I see it in your face right now. I know you have a lot of emotions going on. How are you, first and foremost? How are you feeling? Um, I'm almost I'm, I'm over it. Yeah. I'm over it. Yeah. So we see your the current status of your hair right now. You went to the emergency room. What exactly did they give you? And is it helping at all? Well, when I went there, they took me straight to the back for one. She started using a little um, acetone packs. Yeah. And she started getting it from the back. But as she's getting it, it's burning. So they have the saline water trying to cool it as she was going. But it was burning to the point where my heart was beating to the face. Oh so we would stop. She would go again, we would stop. And she's telling me, Tessica, if we get this out of here, we gonna be here for at least 20 hours. So I asked her, "What could? is it possible that I can go home and let my mom and my sisters do it? At least, you know, I can be home because I do have three children that I have to come, three little girls mm -hmm. that I have to come home to. So I, I mean, and now people are saying, oh, she should have stood in the hospital for those 20 hours. Yeah, yeah. And I want to talk to you about that, about the opinions and how you're dealing with that. Because I know it, it's a lot on you on top of what you're already struggling with. Um, but before we get to that, can you walk us through the moment this happened a month ago when you ran out of hairspray? Can you walk us through that moment? Well, I was going somewhere and my oldest son, he had my car. So when I went to go use um, my spray, it didn't have no more. So... I'm like, you know, that was the closest thing to it. And as soon as I get home, I could wash it right out. But when I got home, it didn't wash out. See, that was my major question. Were you in a rush to go somewhere? Yes. You know, I mean, I'm a, I'm a woman too, and I like my hair right. But if I don't have a product, I'll just wait. But it seems as if you were in a rush. Yeah. Have you ever used Gorilla Glue before? Yeah, I used it before and it worked pretty good. So oh, I you used it on your hair before? No, 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 no. Okay. Like I've used it on like for Christmas. Yeah. I've used it. So at what point did you realize that it was a major problem? Was it when you got home and you tried to wash it out? Well, no, it was like, I'm gonna say the week later and I had to call my mama like, Ma, this is not coming out. This, this is not coming out. So we started using all kind of oil. We used olive oil, cooking oil, uh, yeah. Tea tree, we was using pretty much any oil. So that's why on the video, it was so, so shiny. Yeah, yeah. But then everybody started, you know, the reason I went to the internet, because I never was going to take this to social media. The reason I took it to social media, because I I didn't know what else to do. And I know somebody out there could have told me something. Yeah. I didn't think for one second, when I got up the next morning, it was going to be everywhere. How are you dealing with that? Because of course there are opinions, you have people throwing shade, but you have also a lot of people showing support and love. Yeah. So emotionally, how are you dealing with all those opinions? I'm usually the person that I don't care, you know, what people say, you know, I just move at my own pace. You know, I don't, I don't care what people say, but it's just getting to the point where, you know, people are on TV saying stuff about me, you don't even know me. Yeah. Like if you knew me, you wouldn't you would you wouldn't say half the stuff they're saying if they knew me. And you reached out for help. It yeah, wasn't I about mean, attention, it was for advice. Again, it never was for this. And then somebody said, mm -hmm. oh well she spread it in our head um on purpose just to get to here. Who in their right mind would have just said Oh, well, let me just spray this in my head and you know I'm gonna become famous overnight. Never. Right. Listen. And the inside of my head is like, you know, little radiance. Just who who would want that? Who would want that? I needed somebody to tell me how to take this off. That's all it was. Do you regret posting it? I definitely. Wow. Definitely. Definitely. So I told my I told my son today. I wish I could just, I mean. Wow. Go back. Yeah, because I'm I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. Is shaving your hair an option or shaving your head an option or is that Well when you? we tried to do the razor, we could have like when we did the um acetone, it was like you could have got under here 
Uh-huh. But then we couldn't get uh-huh. to the other spot. But yeah. last night, I ended up cutting my ponytail off. I mean, everybody knows the braid never was mine, but my ponytail yeah. itself, we cut it off last night. So in the middle, you can still feel my hair. It's just all around. And then we started with the, um, the I forgot the name of the stuff. We started with that. That's and- the- no, um, I didn't even say the name because I feel like they're gonna make that a big name. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. so we started with that. And as we doing it in the front, the baby bangs that I had, yeah, just started coming off. Like, oh, yeah. If okay. I mean, I don't wanna do it on here, but if you, I can pretty much wipe because I put some stuff on it just to make it look like it's black. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Wow, so so your hair is falling out there? Yes. Other than the fact that you should never use Gorilla Glue in your hair again, what is this teaching you? What do you think? I'm pretty much, yeah, just don't use it. Yeah, don't use it. Yeah, because I know for, and, for me- And don't post it. True, true. I know for me, I've I had to learn a lot of hard lessons when it comes to all the extremes I would go to for beauty. You know, like, cause girl, you see my edges too. Like I like my hair to be laid. Right. And as black women, we have our tricks, you know, our things we do here and there. Um, but do you think you're at a point now where you're thinking about the extreme length you went to, to, to get this style perfect? Have you thought about that? Like maybe yeah. reconsidering that? I should have just put a hat on. So is your hair, is it loosening up at all or? Yes, it, it okay. is, but it's, it's like I told him, it's taking a minute only because the stuff that we're using, it's burning. Yeah. Like it's burning. Are you feeling anything physically? Like did the doctor say that this headache. can hurt you anyway, as far as like- All I get is out? extreme headache. Wow. And they said by the time I get it all out, or cut it all off, I may have scalp damage. And in some parts of my head, I might not even grow back. All right, well, let's talk about the love that's being sent your way. A lot of celebrities, Chance the Rapper being one of them, he's saying that he's glad people are supporting you. Has there been anyone else who reached out to you that we may know of offering any assistance? And if so, how are they trying to help? Portia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Portia wants to sit me here. Just hilarious. I mean, me and her talk every day, like you know, like we're friends. Wow. Yeah, like we're really friends. Who else? It's it's a lot of it's a lot a lot of people. I can tell you one person I saw Beyonce's longtime hairstylist Neil. He offered you a wig, and girl, that's Beyonce. <laughs> Look, he does Beyonce's hair. So are you gonna take him up on that offer? That's a silver listen, lining in this whole situation. That's one, at least. Listen, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of people that want to give me hair, but the reason I wasn't accepting it, because I don't want people to be like, oh, that's why she did it. And I totally get that in the social media world that, you know, we have to deal with. At the same time, girl, you going through some, some, some struggles and you, you have people offering assistance. So if you want it, I say, this is just my advice. Don't allow that to stop you from getting your blessings because that's a blessing. And there are a number of blessings coming your way. Um, I want to talk about the Gorilla Glue statement that they released. They said that they sympathize with what you're going through, but they also made it clear that on the warning label, it says not to get the glue in your skin, on your skin or in your eyes or clothing. What did you think of their response? I made a mistake. I mean, I... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So there there were some reports, or well, according to TMZ, you hired attorney and are weighing your legal options against Gorilla Glue. Is that true? I no, I, I never, I've never ever said that. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I don't know where all of this is coming from, because at this point, everybody's saying it. Like... Girl. Yeah. Well, my heart goes out to you right now. You also launched a GoFundMe account. A lot of people are helping. Um, you've already mm-hmm. raised over $12,000. For people who want to help, what exactly is the money going towards? Well, the wigs that everybody's telling me I'm need. That's why I only said, you know, $1,500. Yeah. But from 
us reading about everything that's pretty much probably about to go over my head and already done start happening. After the hair situation is fixed, you now have people that are interested in you. You know, you have what you've gained over 530,000 followers in just a week. You're verified on Instagram now. And I know all of that really means nothing compared to what you're going through, but you do somewhat have um, a platform now. Do you, have you been thinking about ways to use that or after all of the situation is handled? Um, no, like again, in my inbox, it's a lot of people. Please do promos, please do promos. Again, I don't want to do none of that because I yeah. feel like they're going to say, this is why she did this. Well, I'll tell you this, from listening to you right now, I clearly see where your heart is. And if anybody watches this and still think that you did this for clout or whatever, that's their issue. And it's obviously not the truth. It looked like every time somebody puts something on social media, that's it. My inbox flood. Um, don't worry about what they're saying. Mm. Yeah, you know, y'all can say that. Y'all can say that. But this, my mama keeps telling me, you know, stop reading the comments. And, yeah, yeah. But it looks like I can't help myself. I go read them. It's way, way, way too much, way too much.